Hello everybody, Malekith here, and welcome back to the Irish campaign in what I suspect will be the final episode. So, 1453 is the end date for the game. We are rapidly approaching that. We are in the final countdown. And I basically promised at the end of last game that we would pretty much go to war with the Holy Roman Empire for some claims. So, that's eventually going to be the goal but I need to sort a few things out first so we're over our limit um our king is 66 as well so he may he may live long enough uh he he may not all right what have we got who is our heir, player heir he's only eight I'd rather not dump lands on him let's just find some suitable people who are hopefully unlanded to chuck these two married to my niece sounds good what's this guy wasn't it let's give you those two Then we'll find someone else to throw these at you, maybe? Yep, yep. Looks good. So now, let's pull this up and check. Do we have too many duchies? No. So I am still over my domain limit. It's going to be... What was it? There's eight up there and four in here. Yeah, that'll be why. I mean, it's close enough that I shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, slightly concerned about the effect of this. So let's have a look. Not succession, vassals. Right, we need to transfer vassals. We're losing 30% of taxes and levies because of it. Um, what's that going to be? It's usually in here, isn't it? You set up the Duchy of Burgundy. What's that? So that would be there. And it would actually unify what looks like five little vassals. Let's usurp that. And then grant it to one of these folks. He really dislikes me, so he's not getting it. It's one of the guys we just gave land to. Not really in the family, whereas this one most certainly is. Why doesn't it like me? He chose to do your duchy. Well, we'd sort that out when we give it. We've got too many duchies. We'd sort that out. Offensive wars. Yeah, yep. All right. Here you go. Um, that one. Oh, look, he loves me. Excellent. Have we have we not solved this now? Nope. Wait. It start transferring vassals, but of Delicia. Grant Vassal? Ugh, against stress. Okay, we're going to give them another vassal possibly
All right, let's get rid of that. Excellent. Great. What's this? Somebody for the Anubian throne. We may end up having to just fight this ourselves. This would be a lot easier to fix if I could throw money around, but because I'm greedy, that causes no amount, no end of stress levels. Um, he just wants the kingdom. What is this kingdom? Kingdom down there. Ah, it's not part of an empire. But... my brother go on then because I don't want to have to fight that is it that one he remains my vassal there you go Everyone else can jog on. Alright. We've got a whole load of prisoners to sort out. A whole lot of prisoners to sort out. Why can I not click this button? You know what? Except for you, should still have that tick in there. I don't know why that tick keeps disappearing. Go through and demand conversion for the ones that will take it. will probably just mass release the rest because I can't be bothered to deal with it This is one way of uh, increasing the number of the faith. How long they actually hold on to it or whether they get converted back, I don't know, but... I'm not even sure where half of these came from. Get out. Out, out, out. Okay, who's left? Five. Why was he imprisoned by me? Do we not know? So, empire-wise, we've got quite a few claims against uh, Burgundy down here. This lot. 
truce with them. We could go against this king, but I think the war everyone wants to see is going to be this one. Is that really all we take off them? I mean, I say that, it's actually a reasonable amount. Ah, we can't afford it. Did think that would be a problem. Right, time to try and farm some prestige. There are hunts. Oh, Garb died in prison. All right, I'll bring it down. I lose some stress. I gain some prestige. How much did we need to save up? 9,800. Oof. What other factions have we got to keep an eye on? This one for the Empire of Hispania is pretty nasty. Why do you dislike me so much? Offensive war, sin, murderer. Desires the Earldom of Gwent. Alright, well, we can, he's the biggest contributor of troops, so if we can at least sweet talk him a little bit. Hey, Burgundy. Don't want to spend the prestige, is the problem. So, Panos made a good point in the comments of, uh, I don't think it was the last video, I think it was the one before, that we should have, we should try and attack Mali to, um, cap off the coastline so that if this ever does transfer into an EU game, we don't have to deal with any colonial powers. Uh, I, I'm not sure there will be a colonial, uh, an EU game that this does convert into, but who knows. It'll be a while away and you'll probably find that this age of save in Crusader Kings isn't compatible and... All those other fun things. Peasant rabble. In LA. That's up here. Somewhere. Or imagining it. Oh, it's up there. It is. Don't know why I couldn't see that. Um. Hmm. Already got Max County control there. Never mind then. It's going up a reasonable amount a month. It's just. Will he live long enough and will we have enough time? Oh, Stacy has died. Too few spouses. I do wonder how, what else we could have achieved if we actually did anything with our potential prisoners. I'm wondering if it plays into it more depending on your religion. Alright, Derek came to me complaining about Gotmar bullying him. So now his question is asking how to get someone hanged. So he gets to trait arbitrary. We go for Craven or Lazy, uh, he can take arbitrary. Let's 
Scandinavia is having a bit of an explosion. I mean, if we were really going for this, war with the Papacy would be the next big one. Because we could take these bits of land off them. We've already got inroads into Italy, war down here. Try and actually just knock the Pope out and do that um, mend the schism achievement. Keep the witch. Can we do any other things up here? Missing a load of piety. We never did get on top of the traits despite getting all the way down the tree. Although a lot of that was down to the um, um, house seniority. But at the same time, I kind of enjoyed house seniority. It mixed things up a bit. It was continually dealing with new and interesting problems as opposed to... Well, that's a tomato then. As opposed to uh, just plowing through repeated walls like we did as soon as we got to Primogenita. So quite a few people have asked, will I do another series after this one? I almost certainly will, I just not immediately. I've been doing this daily releases for 50 days. Um, that takes its toll. When you're not doing it full time, trying to find that much time to record. Lots of back to back sessions and fortunately. So I'll give it some time and see if some patches come out and bring some new interesting features and then I think what we'll do is what some people may have seen me set up on the live stream was um, basically form my own religion um, and have something that's like I want to find a culture that's not very prominent so we don't get basically research from other people and try and sort of go it alone against the normal major powers uh, that's a suitable, unpronounceable name. We set it up down here in the stream. Um, I sort of had... Oh, hang on. Let me... Uh, let's read this. My liege, it's time. Patriarch Ed bows deeply at the door to my chambers. I gather my notes in a stack on my writing desk. I'm supposed to hold a speech about recent cultural accomplishments of the realm in front of emissaries and ambassadors. Patriarch stops me before we enter the hall. They know... They all know of you, of course. How would you like me to... Introduce you. Who am I but the Sage? Again, the nickname the Sage. 150 prestige. The Scholar. I suppose I'm something of a historian. Or just Emperor. I'll go with the Sage. Heresy, Insularists in Kent. They, huh? That he and his vassals are converted to insular Christianity. But that's what, that's what we are. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Kent no longer consider the clergy to be. I knew they would see the light eventually. Excellent. But yes, we set up a, a basically a custom religion down here. I reformed some obscure one into something extremely custom. And we were playing with all of the things down here where basically everything was allowed. Nothing was forbidden. <laughs> but it was highly militaristic. It was, you will accept all of the freedoms or you will die. And I quite liked the way that was going. But um, it was just playing around to see how to customize the various cultures and religions and all that sort of stuff. But that's that's plans for the future. I'm just not sure when. Come on, piety. Lots of people converting to the true faith. Oh, look at these little bubbles of insular Christianity popping up. We're starting to make inroads into Spain. Africa's getting some chunks. There's even bits in Italy. Now, 
Now, hang on a minute. Weren't we swaying him? No, minus three is the guy next to him. Maybe not. I'm gonna take the uh, the stress and lob him a gift. And then swap the swaying to this guy. Although, I may just actually chuck a load of money at him as well. Oh, that's the claimant that's just... Yep, we just have to apologise for that. As we have been this king's entire life. Mercian guy is very strong. Sorry I'm busy. Trying to keep on top of this. Oh, my daughter's... No. Um. Hang on a minute. Over domain limit, minus... Yeah, okay, we need to give up some stuff. Or... Or... Does that help a little bit? No. I need to give up some places. I think these two... Your spouse got some land? Yes, he has. You don't have a spouse, right. Find a spouse. Matrilineal. We want someone unlanded. Grandson? Ugh. Sure. Brentford and I see there's two baronies in there he can just be a baron and then your put a random baron in there as well and that might suddenly sort the happiness out with a lot of these in the name of the Divine, following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son and heir Derek what he thought. He expressed doubts about whether any god could want a realm to be ruled by such a harsh law. Wasn't he asking people to be hung earlier? Or just. Opinion of arbitrary characters, isn't he arbitrary? Is he gonna is he gonna hate himself? Oh, the Duke passed away. Okay, some of the powers dropped off of here. Sway this guy instead then. Or is Derek? So he is arbitrary. Didn't get just. Hmm. The 
Queen of Sicily. Um, no. I mean, they got a reasonable amount of territory, but uh, why accept it when someone can just go take it off them? Vassals, get to work. How else can we get prestige? We're just going to hit the end game before I even get the chance to war for it. Game, no! Bottom of the tankard. It's like the sound of an empty cup you just sat down on the table. I hear anything over the din of a great hall. Duke Corcoran must have enchanted ears. My gracious host waits for a servant. More wine here, and none will go thirsty. This one plate of food is replaced by the next. My kinsman, Mel Petrait, goes on and on about friendship. Yeah. Let him carry on, have an interesting conversation. <sighs> Why is the cost going up? In a war? No, so who's who's fighting over this? Hang on. Hang. Legendary Relev uh, Reveler. Screw it. I'm going. We're going for the Duchy. Let's pick Burgundy. Want to just do that one, but yeah, we definitely can't. Any of my military flags near there? No. Raise it all, boys. Raise it all. You have the siege equipment, you do. Go. You will stroll to there and have a little battle. It says Excellent, that's that defeated. on here if 
Holy War for the County of Leon. Okay, I think... I don't think they're involved with us. Split you in half so that you're not quite such a burden on the supplies of the populace, but also lets us siege down. I think still overburdening. No! Oh, it all ended so soon. The end date of the game has been reached. For centuries you have followed the dynasty of... I have no idea how to pronounce that. Sechatash has grown into a dynasty of legendary prestige respected by all. 85 houses, 200 and, uh, 2,924 members, of which 25 are played. Let's have a look at the lineage, shall we? Starting at the beginning. There's definitely a theme with the ages of the rulers. They all were very long-lived. Old age. Old age. Uh, this was tagged, wasn't it? He was... Was it tagged? Was it tagged? Yeah. I think he was the one who... Actually became the proper king of Ireland, wasn't he? Queen. Old age. Rogalac, 66. Oh, she was especially well-lived. 25 years. Old age. Drake. He was king for 43 years. I think this was where we swapped to house seniority. Also old age. I don't know what gave it away. Um, old age. Old age. I'm trying to think of anyone that possibly would have died of something other than old age before we get back to Emperor Derek. Old age, nine years, seven months. That's a that's a record. Also old age. We've got Dirk, of course. Conmail the dwarf, our very own little Tyrion Lannister in the making. Ah, yes, he died of cancer. Did we have two like that? Inflect, old age. I mean, he was 63. Given the time period, how many of the old ages would probably be cancer of some form or another as well, and you just didn't know? Oh, drank himself to death. Hiking now. Winning the uh, award for most obscure way of going out. Ah. Yes, the four-month peg-leg king. Nope, I remember now. I think that possibly wins the obscurity. Is he also the yeah? He's the young, he's the shortest reigning as well. This was this was particularly special. Complications from obesity. Actually, we really did start mixing it up towards the end here. Then back to old age again. Drank himself to death. Complications from obesity. I mean, they're all old guys. What we got here? Complications of obesity. Well, it says that, but we know we were assassinated. So does that mean some of the earlier ones were also assassinations? Fourteen twenty. I'm going to go back and look at those war stats in a minute. Old age. Old age. Getting into the long, the long-lived kings now because we've hit primogenitor. He's still going. Disgraced sinner. What an out. What a way to end. Surely he was in some wars. Is it just not told us because we didn't end there? Anyway, four. Let's look for who was the biggest warrior. It's got to be the one of the guys near the end. Nine, five, four, ten. It's a pretty impressively low number of wars given how long they were ruling. Two, he had won a year. Four. I, 
I guess seven months is a, a good period of time to not get into any wars. Six, seven. Only one in eight years. That was a particularly boring time. Ah yes, the Pegleg King. Weren't we in the middle of a war when he got his wound and then we tried to treat it and then he died? Twelve months, no war. War. Ah uh, yeah, then 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 we hit the primogenitor times. Twenty-two wars. In 59 years for Emperor Derek, 18 wars in 35 years for Dirk, 26, so he's now top, I think, which makes sense because he was the one stomping around just claiming literally everything. It was it was Emperor Dirk the Builder, uh, Derek the Builder, Derek the Uniter, and then well, actually, I guess Derek was the uniter, wasn't he? Because he, he got the the core empire together. Dirk then expanded that to slightly ashore. And then Ruadri just went on a rampage, really. Well, that brings my Irish playthrough of Crusader Kings 3 to a, to a close. End results pretty similar to the Crusader Kings 2 one. We did it in mildly different ways, but, you know, I, it's pretty similar. I'm happy with that. Hopefully everyone enjoyed themselves, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry you didn't get the giant mega Holy Roman Empire war that I wanted, and I'm sure you possibly did as well. So, uh, never mind. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the series and uh, I'll join you for the next one. Bye for now.